Yes, my nephew has cancer, and I started doing this for people. And since then, I've had a sister pass away. I have a nephew that has it. I have other cousins that have it. It's, it's it's real, you know. And then that's what we're here for. So we're trying to um, come up with some way to make money to have a cure. Uh, let me let me show you what I got here. Uh, I'm a local businessman. Um, I'm project man. I don't know if you guys see me driving down the road with the white truck, but I do a lot of lawn care and work, and I get my wood chips at Brink, and I'm going to be cutting up uh, wood pallets, these wood pieces, and I'm going to be wrapping them, and I'm going to be wrapping them up, and hopefully I can set it out at Gilda's so they can sell them for me, and they can make a dollar in each one of my packs that I make for firewood for the cancer. Thank you very much. And all right, we'll get back to my show, and, and since uh, I do impersonations, um, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do a... Uh, well, this would be uh, Sylvester Stallone in about 10, 15 years. <laughs> I wish I had a thing on my head. It's hard to do this. <laughs> okay, now visualize Sylvester Stallone, right? We all know him, right? You know, is he? You know, baby, I love you. You know who he is? <laughs> all right, here I am. This is Rocky 85. Come on, baby, you know. I'm gonna kick your ass. I gotta raise some more money, you know what I mean? I could still do it. <laughs> you remember this stuff? I mean, come on. Rocky 85. You see the last one he just made? When are they gonna be done with Rocky? I don't know, but he's a legend. And uh, also, uh, with my imagination, see, I hitchhiked out to California when I was younger and I was on Jay Leno. I don't know if you guys have been to T.A. Wolf. Uh, it's, it's, you can Google my name. You can check out all my comedy events here at Laugh Fest, and you can see some of my stuff. But when I hitchhiked out there, they had me on the show as a presidential hopeful. I toured NBC, and I got to bark at Jay Leno, and that was fun. You know, I, it was awesome. To me, it's something I hold true. I got to shadow box with Homie the Clown, man, I'm telling you. It was fun. <laughs> so anyways, on my travels, I, I, I believed I, I had a, a, a talent, because I can do impersonations. and. I end up at the Laugh Factory out in California, and uh, uh, it's uh, Jamie runs the place, and he told me I had talent. He he says he likes my John Wayne, and he likes my Andrew Dice Clay, and he likes all these voices I do. So I, I'm gonna. This is the Duke. I like I said, I've been to California. I got imagination, so I'm thinking about a new movie called the the Duke Flintstones. It's the Flintstones move west, right? So Duke's like, well, I tell you, yeah, but yeah, but do. Uh -huh. Well, he's, he's Fred Flintstone's half-brother because something happened down the line. We don't want to talk about it. Because, you know, I mean, it's supposed to be one in a one, but he had a, a stepbrother, and his stepbrother is Duke Flintstone, and the bedrock ran out, right? So this is the whole line, you know, so they had to move west, you know, to get to the next rock, and it was Fossil Rock, and that's where Duke Flintstone runs the town. Duh. -huh. So... Now, with, with that in mind, would any of you watch a, a Flintstone movie well, we with Duke Flintstone and the Flintstones moving now, uh, west? Yeah! Is that imaginary? I mean, that's using your mind, being creative, right? Yeah! All right, all right. Well, I'm going to do Rodney Vangerfield here, and uh, let me see, they only give me a couple seconds here. <coughs> Whoa, Ben Gay, okay. So anyway, so we got a, a skit with Rodney Dangerfield, right? Rodney just pulled his hamstring, and he had to go to the pharmacy, right? So he's like, I pulled my hamstring, what do I get? And the lady says, hey, you gotta get Ben Gay. So he says, he says, Ben Gay, and he's bending over, Ben Gay, what do you mean, Ben Gay? He says, I've always been gay, what do you mean? I'm happy, I just get no respect, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I love y'all, have a fun time, sorry.